six students who were arrested during Wednesday's protest at the University of Kalania were released on bail by the Mahara Magistrates Court on Thursday. Court released them on a personal bail of 50,000 rupees each and the case will be called up again on the 13th of June 2023. The protest on Wednesday was organized against the arrest of student leader Kelumuda Naika and student activist Dilshan Harshana and the students demanded their immediate release. Though tear gas and water cannons were used multiple times to disperse the protesting students, they continued to engage in the protests until midnight. It is clear that that was done by the rulers and the police and the army that followed their orders. Several lives were lost due to tear gas. They are using tear gas to kill people. We saw military personnel with sticks and poles yesterday. Bail was granted to them today. The Jathika Janabala Vegia filed a complaint at the police headquarters seeking an investigation into the quality of tear gas used during a protest that took place on the 26th of February. We believe Sri Lanka police used expired tear gas. If that is not the case, they have been given another set of questions. This relates to use of water cannons as well. Based on the response, we'll take legal action. Recently, the military stormed into the law faculty and beat the students. A private security officer has died. Three people have died in a week and another remains unconscious. The Jatika Jana Balavege has sent the questionnaire and it is now up to the IGP to respond. Concerns were raised in Parliament over Sri Lanka police entering university premises. An incident took place at the Colombo University on Wednesday and one non-academic security officer had also reportedly died. There is concern that it was caused due to the firing of tear gas. If there is a death reported in a university, it will be a nationwide tragedy. I request the Ministry of Internal Affairs and the police to take measures regarding police officers entering university premises. Following the attack at the Colombo University, Priyanthavani Nayaka, a resident from Nochiagama who was attached to a private security firm, had died. The JVP candidate for Nivitigala, Nimala Amarasiri, also paid with his life for democracy. The president is an old boy of Royal College and students from Royal College also suffered from the tear gas. We will not back down in the face of government threats. The Jatika Jana Balavege raised concerns into the quality of tear gas used during protests. The death of Nimal and the private security officer at the Colombo University during protests are not mere natural deaths, they are murders. We have serious concerns on the quality of the tear gas they use to disperse protesters. It brings up a serious suspicion as to whether they are using chemically modified weapons and as to whether they are using poisonous gas to disperse these protesters. Ranil Vikramasinghe should understand by now that no matter how arrogant he is, at the end it will be the people who will win this struggle and that the real power is with the people and not with him.